All right, guys, I'm going to do Wall Street. It's probably my second favourite New York mission after Stranded Tanker. Uh, I'm going to use Skill Build for most of this. Coming up on Dragov's outer perimeter. It's a bit easier. Remember, you're only here for Dragov, but if you find the supply depot, raid it. Denying Dragov that stockpile will also deny Keener. Especially in the boss fight. It's easier to use skills. I played it earlier with the rifle build that I've been using in my last few videos and it didn't really go very well because I died several times uh, because when you're poking your head up to shoot the boss you've got all the NPCs and all three bosses shooting at you from all sides and you can't really get anywhere at least with skill build turret and drone are doing a little bit of work um, but you can get a bit a bit more fun with it as you can see I'm using the capacitor so I get, I'm procking the extra skill damage from the 40 Stacks on the capacitor, which is helping my turret and drone. That's the build I'm currently using is the wave waveform build that I've also uh, shown in a video and gone through. through this as quick as I can hopefully I don't really push in here I sit back in this bit and let the skills do the work I'm probably going to have to restock at some point but I'm going to wait until fact, I'm restock, take the chance to restock now Too bad. So I'm just going to make sure they don't get the chests. So I think it should be, it should only be three, three chests. Protect that stockpile. So it shouldn't I be too to much of a problem, personally. depending where they are. They're all Get on the right hand side of the room by the looks of it. Everything you take from them is something they can't send to Keener. Just make sure they don't get contested. Just like that one. Got them off. Hostiles approaching. So I need to group up there for some reason. Serious trauma detected. Got a turret here. Get back out here. Put my turret up. Far forward. Uh, 
Hostiles approaching. Alright, get shoot in. Hostiles approaching. Kill Duchess. Hopefully that should be it. I'll leave my drone up just in case. No, nope, there are more. Thought it might be. Let's jump back. Get the turret up. Right, that should be it now, hopefully. Yeah, it seems so. Right, so I can open these crates at my leisure. Three boxes secure. Let's go and leave them for next week. No response from Duncan. Fuck! They killed Duncan! I want them dead! Asshole! Stubber! I like this rap a bit. It is quite a uh, fun place to fight the NPCs in, especially when you go round and down. Leave my giant turret there, fix some of them up. Go around a bit more. Uh, reset my turret. Unfortunately it comes back. Put out there. Well, the APC can be a bit tricky depending on how fight if you push the NPCs or not. But overall, in general, it's not bad. Be careful trying Take to shoot the APC and the NPCs at the same it. time. If they get too many, they can obviously flank you and makes it that much harder. Side. 
good thing is the way the APC set up, you actually haven't got to leave the building. So there's one more bit to do. Run past them. As best I can. Don't pick this up. Oh no, I ran right into it. Explosion area. Oh, how did it? Oh, died. Agent, final size. Zero. Ah, oh, I thought I was going to die. It was very close. Well, that's not. That's what not to do. Fortunately, as it's only on challenging, I can go again. So let's give it another go. Didn't expect that thing to blow up and kill me like that. Mate, probably would have helped if I'd used some armour, but it is what it is. It's happened. I'll throw my turret back up there. Down here. Just got the one on the other side to do. I shouldn't have that much of a problem. PC gone, thankfully. That's that bit done. Get my armour and health heal back up. That's no, I don't need to go anywhere there. We'll move on to the next bit. So turret and drone again. Oh, 
Dragov is holed up in the exchange, but it looks like it's locked down tight. You might be able to gain access to the scaffolding across the street. So this bit, I played it earlier, had rogue agents, so hopefully because of that, it means they're not going to spawn at all. Obviously I can get them just before the boss fight bit, if it came to it. Hopefully I'm not tempting fate. seems to be, well there's likely to be one of those big heavies with the big shields, like Ron or Knuckles, uh, fortunately on challenging, you don't get it, unless you maybe because you're in a group of four, you might, you might get it, but fortunately I haven't got it that time, because they are a nuisance, and they do take some killing. That comes down the stairs. Uh, start shooting them through the fence. Right, reset my skills. Got ten seconds for the drone. Sweet stock anyway. So this bit, there isn't normally many places you can hide, so that's why I like to see up here. If it comes to it, I can quickly run back down the stairs. Stairs, hate to leave a tree, leave my turret and drone. And yeah, this bit always tricks you because they, as a, you go forward thinking you're clear, and there's a second wave. It's a bit, a bit annoying, but here's what it is. Once you experience it the first time, you, not very often you'd actually forget, or I would to forget about it. Um, but on heroic content, if you're doing it and you forget about the next NPCs, you can find yourself in a bit of trouble, especially if you've gone forward. got this bit to do, then the boss fight, and then that's Wall Street done. So, get to it and drone up. I don't push past here. Straight away. In fact, I'm going to leave my turret and drone there. Or my turret there, rather. Run around, because it's in a great position. I 
throw them onto the NPC team on the balcony. Sometimes they duck down and they just sit and cover, and it makes it really hard to kill them. It makes it a little bit frustrating. This is the other bit where Rogue Agents might turn up. Uh, I think I would have heard the indication from, or notification from Isaac by now. So, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get them this time. Thankfully, I'm not. Because I really don't like Rogue Agents, even though my skill build will take them down quite easily. I'd rather just play the actual game mission content that I'm meant to get. Just get rid of all these NPCs. Oh, I've got someone shooting me from over here. There they are. Get them home. Last one, yep, yeah. and here comes the bosses. So it's time. The division's reign of terror ends here. Get rid of these and finish this mission. So they're over there this time. And that's nothing's pretty much dead straight away. Heal up because the NPCs that are getting in the way. I'm gonna shoot him as well. Seems to be the only one at the moment, no one has to perform. He's not paying any attention to me because my drone. A little bit of damage to his armor. That's his shield gone. And that's James Drogoff dead. And that's the end of the mission. Apart from that one blip where I was a bit overconfident with the APC area, uh, it went pretty well. I think uh, shows you some of the game mechanics um, and what you need to do to beat them where best to place yourself uh, 22 minutes 48 seconds pretty good time for a solo player as I said if I hadn't have died it'd be under 20 minutes I reckon but it's what it is uh, and I will catch you in the next video.